What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on today's video, y'all should know what to do by now, man. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and share the video, bro. If you come through and watch my video, be sure to hit that like button, put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. And also comment down below. I want to chop it up with y'all and I want to talk boxing with you, but I can't do that unless you leave a comment. So be sure to comment down below so we can chop it up and talk boxing. And also, um, hit me up if you want to have me hop on a panel or if you want to collaborate with me. You can reach me on my email at knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Again, that's knockoutboxing, the number eight, the number six, at yahoo.com. But without further ado, let's get it popping and let's go ahead and get into today's video. And today, we're talking about Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, and Manny Pacquiao, bro. Keith Thurman just did an interview. And he talked about Manny Pacquiao and Earl Spence in depth, gave his picks, you know what I mean? And, and had a lot of opinions on the whole situation. And I want to react to his opinion and give y'all my opinion on his opinion. Does that make sense? I want to give y'all my opinion on what Keith Thurman had to say, bro. That's what I want to do. And so that's what we're going to do in this video. So one thing he talked about was the whole WBA thing, bro. You know, should Manny Pacquiao have been stripped? In Keith Thurman's opinion, he says no. Should Manny Pacquiao in a, in a perfect world... Should he be able to get his belt back in a perfect world? Keith Thurman believes now that the WBA has put him in recess, they should not be able to just make him back the super champion. But he also believes that the fight with Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao needs to be as big as possible, so he understands why the WBA may potentially elevate Manny Pacquiao back to the super champion. My opinion has been made clear, bro, and it all still holds true and it's all still the same. Number one, yes, bro. At the time that they stripped Manny Pacquiao, or not, we got to stop saying strip, bro. At the time that they made him champion in recess, which is completely different from stripping somebody, right? At the time that they did that, it was unclear what Manny Pacquiao was going to do. He was coming up to being two years removed from, um, from beating Keith Thurman. You know, he was rumored to be fighting somebody like Conor McGregor. He was rumored to be fighting somebody like, you know, Ryan Garcia, which we all know was cap and a lie and, and a clout chase on Ryan Garcia's part. He was rumored to be doing those things. If he were to fight Conor McGregor, and I said this, if he's Manny Pacquiao is such a legend, bro, fight who you want to fight. But if he was going to fight someone like Conor McGregor, then he should not be able to do it as a super WBA champion because it holds up the division. So to to make him put him in recess because the WBA didn't know what he was going to do, um, Fans didn't know what he was going to do. Hell, I don't even know if Manny Pacquiao, you know, at the time that they made that decision, knew what he was going to do. So at the time that they put him in recess, yes, bro, that was the right decision to free up the belt for more active, younger fighters to continue to try to fight for championships and unify the division. Now, Keith Thurman also says that it's not right for, um, for Manny Pacquiao to be given, you know, his super status back. And I wholeheartedly disagree. See, the thing that got Manny Pacquiao put in recess was him not being active and they didn't want him fighting somebody that didn't deserve the shot. And so the WBA was very clear. When they put him in recess, they were like, yo, if you want to keep your belt, fight somebody in our top 10 ranking systems and you can keep your belt. We just need to know who it is, bro. And so let's say if he came back and fought Mikey Garcia, who's in the top 10 rankings of the WBA, then shit, he deserves his belt back by the WBA's own admission and their own rule. Or if he's going to fight another champion, bro, a two-belt unified champion, who's considered by many to be the best welterweight, whether you have him number one or number two, whatever order it is for you, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, we can all agree that by Manny Pacquiao, Fighting somebody like Earl Spence, he deserves to have his belt back to do that shit, bro. Now, if he was fighting like Conor McGregor or some shit, right? If he was fighting Ryan Garcia, you know, coming up from two weight classes that ain't ever, ever even in his life thought about fighting at 147 pounds, then yeah, bro, keep him in recess. Let your Dennis Ugas continue to campaign as a super champion. You know, go that route, bro. But if Manny Pacquiao is going to come back and he's going to take on the challenge of Earl Spence, if you the WBA, bro, not only are you well within your rights to elevate him back to super champion, it's the thing that you should do because of who he's fighting, bro. That's the point of having champion in recess. And then from a money perspective, I broke this down in another video. 
they stand to make an enormous an a extreme amount in sanctioning fees about elevating Manny Pacquiao back to the super champion, bro. They get to charge the maximum amount that is under their rule book to charge you, bro. The most that they can charge somebody is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. They either charge you three percent of your purse or two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per fighter. Because of the the purse that Manny Pacquiao is gonna get, and because of the purse that Earl Spence is all likelihood gonna get, bro, they're gonna make enough money to where the WBA will be able to charge both of them two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a piece. They ain't passing up on that money, bro. I did a, de a video detailing it. Feel free to go check it out, bro. Uh, so that's that's one thing I wanted to cover on what Keith Thurman had to say, bro. Like, I totally, totally agree with how the WBA handled it from start to finish, bro. Putting him in recess because of inactivity and, you know, the rumors and him potentially wanting to fight somebody like Conor McGregor. Because let's not get it twisted, bro. The reason we getting this Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao fight, in my opinion, is because Conor McGregor, bro, got his ass knocked out. If Conor McGregor wouldn't have got knocked out in his last fight, if he would have looked spectacular and he'd have knocked and he'd have, and he'd have won and won by knockout as he typically does, bro, I believe in my heart we'll never know because it's a hypothetical. But I believe, bro, shit, Manny Pacquiao would have fought Conor McGregor. But see, when Conor McGregor got knocked out, the fight lost its luster, bro. And so it left Manny Pacquiao in limbo. And so I believe that's the only reason we're getting such a great fight, bro. In, in my opinion, you know, I could be wrong. I've been proven wrong before, but that's just my opinion, bro. Um, another thing you said, he said he favors Earl Spence to beat Manny Pacquiao. And see, this is telling to me, bro, because my mind work a little different than most. This is telling me in two fronts, because most boxers, bro, when they get beat, the person that beat them, they picking them to win all their fights. Because see, in a boxer, like you arrogant, right? And you fully believe in yourself, or you should, you know, that you the best or you one of the best. So you want to big up the person that beat you so that, you know, it looked like you lost to somebody that's just the best. Like if you keep Thurman and Manny Pacquiao go in there and beat Earl Spence, then that loss to Manny Pacquiao looks a little bit better, bro. It looks a little bit better. If you keep Thurman and Earl Spence goes in there and demolishes Manny Pacquiao, right? Then now the loss to Manny Pacquiao, people looking at you sideways like, damn, bro. Earl Spence beat him. Earl Spence washed him, but you got beat by him. So I was surprised that Keith Thurman picked Earl Spence to win this fight. And it automatically took my mind to, damn, Keith, you really did duck Earl Spence. You really did duck Earl Spence because by saying that, you saying that you think Earl Spence is better than Manny Pacquiao, right? And so if you think Earl Spence is better than Manny Pacquiao and you duck and dodge all that time, you made a bunch of excuses, you know what I mean? And now you're picking him to beat the dude that beat you. You're saying that you took on an easier fight or what you perceived to be an easier fight Manny Pacquiao back in 2019. You took that on because you thought it was a lot easier than Earl Spence. So by picking Earl Spence and trying to give him props and trying to say that he's going to beat Manny Pacquiao by doing that, you actually or accidentally admitting that you ducked Earl Spence, bro. And so all of y'all people... That's coming around and saying, yo, yo, Earl Spence should fight Keith Thurman. Why are you ducking Keith Thurman, bro? Keith Thurman just shitted on y'all argument, and he just shut all of y'all up, in my opinion, bro. He just admitted that he thinks Earl Spence is the better fighter, that he thinks Earl Spence is going to beat Manny Pacquiao, right? And by doing so, he accidentally admitted that he'd been ducking Earl Spence this whole time, bro, which is something I knew and a lot of us knew, but I just wanted y'all to know that Keith Thurman, you know, by accident, I'm assuming, just kind of told on himself that Earl Spence is that dude, bro. And then he, he duck and dodged on his ass. And then he took Manny Pacquiao because he thought it was easy, bro. He thought it was easy. In his mind, he believes Earl Spence is and has always been a better better fighter than Manny Pacquiao. And it's a tougher matchup for him. So that's why he ducking, bro. That's why he picking Earl Spence to win now, because he think Earl Spence is better than Manny. So why the hell you fight Manny and not the best? I thought you wanted to be the best. I thought you wanted to be the best, right? Yeah, bro. You told on yourself, Keith. You told on you see, yourself. And then last thing, and I'll get y'all out of here. He want to say he barely lost to Manny, you know. And he gave Manny his props at the same time. Like, I don't want y'all to get what I'm saying. Twist, he said he lost and all of that. But he said he barely lost by like 15 punches or something. And whether you barely lost, whether you got your ass whooped, number one, you lost, bro. But number two, this is what happens, bro, when you're so inactive. 
And you don't keep the main thing the main thing. Keith Thurman lost his focus. I believe Keith Thurman should have beat Manny Pacquiao. I believe Keith Thurman should be one of, if not the, top dog at the 147-pound division if he had stayed focused, if he had stayed active, bro. There's no way at his age, at this point in his career, bro, he should still be sitting on 29 fights. Think about that, bro. 29 fights or 28 fights, whatever. I think it's 29. Maybe right be it might be right at 30. I think he's 29 and one or 28 and one, some shit, bro. He ain't got enough fights. He older than how many fights he done had, bro. That's basically the point I'm trying to make to y'all. And he lost to Manny clearly, in my opinion, because number one. He was rusty. Number two, he wasn't in the best shape. And number three, bro, he didn't sharpen the skill set. And he went in there thinking that youth, thinking that size, thinking that athleticism was going to win the day. He thought it was going to win the day, bro. And I'm sorry, that shit don't work like that all the time, bro. And so you didn't barely lose to Manny, Keith. You didn't barely lose to him. You came on at the end, but you didn't do enough to win the fight, bro. You didn't lose just by no 15 punches, bro. You got your ass knocked down, which basically accounts for two rounds. So you started off in the hole. You basically started off down three rounds to zero, bro, if you really want to break the math down because you lost the first round 10 to 8. So now you already got two rounds to make up. You know what I mean? Like, you, you lost, bro. So stop that shit, bro. All in all, you know, he kept it real, bro. I give him credit for that. He didn't sound like he had no animosity towards Manny. You know, he was objective enough in, in his mind. He thinks Earl Spence will win the fight. You know what I mean? And and so you you gotta give him you gotta give him credit for giving a good interview for you know keeping it real in his mind. But at the end of the day, Keith, I just wanna see you back in the ring, bro. Can we get some action from Keith Thurman in 2021, bro? And can we get it more than one time? Are you gonna fight in 2021, then try to come back in 2023, bro? Like what's up, Keith? You coming to the tail end of it? Do you wanna have one last hoorah? Do you want to have one last shot at glory? I need to know what's up with you, bro. That's all I care about when it comes from you, bro. All in all, though, man, wish Keith Thurman nothing but the best. Wish him nothing but the best. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Go check out his interview. Go check out what he's been saying lately, bro. At least he did his interview from the gym. Shit. That's a start, Keith. That's a start, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Put your seatbelt on when you hop in my car. And if you want me on the panel, you should know the email address by now. Knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. I appreciate everybody watching. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we all chill. Peace.